Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us try to make use of the circuit breaker managed services available in Spring Cloud Foundry in our Spring Boot application. And let us try to see how this circuit breaker works in the Pivotal Cloud Foundry environment. In our previous example, we created a simple client Spring Boot application and tried to map it to the service registry of Pivotal Cloud Foundry. We will use the same example for the circuit breaker managed services also. In order to use the circuit breaker managed services, you need to add a dependency in your form.xml. The dependency is Spring Cloud Services Starter Circuit Breaker. And then let us go to our Spring application file and let us enable the circuit breaker here. Then let us go to our simple controller and let us try to simulate an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a strict command here. And I'm going to define my fallback method. Let us simulate a error here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call a REST service which does not have a URI or it is not available. So in order to make a REST service, first let us go to our config and let's create a bean for our REST template. is created. Now let us auto wear that beam to our controller class. Alright, let's say I'm going to call a service that is not available and it's going to return a string. This method should fail and when we try to access the get mapping, it should respond back with the response from fallback method. Now let us go to our manifest.yaml. We don't have the service added to our Cloud Foundry Web Console. Let us add that service. All right. Let us go to the marketplace and let us add the circuit breaker managed service to our space. All right. Our circuit breaker has been successfully created. Let's quickly go to our Spring Boot application and let's try to add the service here. service has been added till now I have not touched the application.yaml there is zero configuration in my application.yaml even for the circuit breaker now let us build this application and we'll push it to cloud foundry build is successful now let us go to the console and let us do a cf push to deploy the application
our instances of successfully created. Let's quickly go to the Pivot Tool console. Going inside the simple client, I could see two services up and running. Let's go to our Eureka server. Let's do a refresh. You don't have to do a refresh. It will automatically get added, but let's do a refresh. So we have summer instances running, which is pretty cool. Let's go to our circuit breaker and click on manage. Our restricts monitoring is up and running. Let us simulate a failure for this case. I'm going to click on simple client route here. When I click on this, an error should be generated and I should be able to see the exception or the error metrics in the Hestrix dashboard. We got a successful response from our simple client and it is from the fallback method. Let us take a look at our Hestrix dashboard. Our Hestrix dashboard got enabled and you could see here the metrics is available for the simple client say hello method. Now let us try to do multiple refreshes here. Do you see the error right here? The circuit is still closed but the circuit will open up when the threshold limit reaches. With this we have completed a demo on how to use circuit breaker manner services from Spring Cloud Foundry in your Spring Boot application. In our next video let us try to use the config server mana services from Spring Cloud Foundry. Thank you for watching this video guys and please subscribe for more such videos.